Hi, I'm Chef Sabi. So let me congratulate you on your purchase of this beautiful OTG by Chroma. But before we understand the features, safety comes first. Please make sure that the voltage at your place is compatible to the voltage required by the OTG. Also, the unit should be placed at a safe distance from the adjacent walls. Now let's see what all we get along with the main unit. First comes the grill rack. The grill rack can be used to make cakes, muffins, or you could use it to grill some vegetables, some meats, just by directly placing them in the oven. Next comes the crumb tray. The crumb tray is used to collect any crumb or pieces that might fall off during the baking or grilling process. It can be cleaned very easily. The rotisserie fork. The rotisserie fork can be used to make things like whole grilled chicken or even kebabs. The fork rotates when it's placed in the oven, which helps the food to cook evenly. Next comes the baking tray. The baking tray can be used for broiling or grilling any food product like fish, meat or vegetables. It can also be used to collect the drippings while using the rotisserie fork. Next comes the rotisserie handle. Once you're done using the rotisserie fork, you can use this to remove the hot rod from the oven. Last are the skewers. Insert your food into the skewers and place them in the rod set. The skewers help in roasting the food as they revolve around the source of heating. Let's learn a little bit about the internal parts of the OTG. First comes the heating element. The OTG has two heating elements, one on the top, the second on the bottom. You have the option of turning either one or both of them on together. Next comes the fan. The fan can only be used in the convection mode as it helps you to cook the food evenly from all sides. Last is the indicator light. The indicator light turns on when you switch on the oven. Now let's know about the different knobs that the OTG has to offer. The oven offers adjustable temperature control which ranges from 90 degrees Celsius to 230 degrees Celsius. Next comes the function knob. The function knob allows you to choose which mode you would like the OTG to work on. You have a total of five modes to select from. First being standby mode. Standby mode holds the temperature of the oven as where it stands. Second comes the lower heating mode. The lower heating mode would only and only heat the lower element of the oven. Third comes the lower heating mode with convection. The lower heating mode with convection will heat up the lower heating element and will also switch on the fan. Next comes the upper heating element with convection and rotisserie. In this function, the upper heating element of the oven heats up, the fan is switched on and also the rotisserie rod rotates. Next comes the upper and lower heating with convection. In this, the upper and lower element are heated up and the fan is switched on. Last comes the upper and lower heating with convection and the rotisserie. In this function, the upper and lower heating elements are heated, the fan is switched on and the rotisserie rod rotates. Last comes the timer knob. The timer knob can be activated by turning it towards the right. You can set a time of maximum 90 minutes. Once the time is complete, you will hear a ring sound. Now let's know a little bit about the preheating process. To bake anything or to roast any product, it is very important to preheat your oven. The Chroma OTG takes 15 to 20 minutes at your desired temperature for you to cook any food item with. So now let's make some chocolate chip cookies using the Chroma OTG oven. The ingredients required for this recipe are there on your screen. So to make the chocolate chip cookies, first in an empty clean bowl, add unsalted butter. After the unsalted butter is in the bowl, press it with a whisk and you've got to whisk it till it becomes a little creamy. Once your butter is creamy, we add the brown sugar. We whisk the butter and sugar till the time it becomes soft and fluffy. This is my personal trick to make a good cookie dough because once the butter and sugar has mixed together really nicely, the flavor intensifies and you get better texture. You can see, the sugar and the butter have started to mix together. We will do this process for another 3 to 4 minutes till the time we see very few little grains of sugar inside the butter. As you can see, the sugar and the butter have mixed to a certain extent that it's become a little fluffy. Now we add all the remaining ingredients. First comes salt. So we are adding all the chocolate chips we have. 
and baking soda. We will give this mixture a very light whisk and then we will add in the flour. Make sure you do not whisk it too much because that will not make your cookie dough nice and soft. Now we add in the flour. Using a spoon, very gently fold in the flour inside the butter sugar mix. Try to use the back side of the spoon because it will help you retain more aeration inside the batter. Now we will refrigerate the cookie dough batter for about 30 minutes before we bake them. Place the cookie dough batter in the similar manner and bake them in the oven. Now the cookies are ready to be removed from the oven. I suggest you use the tray handle to remove the tray from the oven as the tray will be really hot. We highly recommend the use of only and only the products provided by the company along with the main unit for cooking. Apart from that, please and please only use aluminium and silicon while cooking. I highly recommend that you clean your oven after every use. Also, make sure that you only clean your oven with a dry towel. Please also make sure that the oven is completely cold before you start cleaning. So let me again congratulate you on your purchase of this beautiful OTG oven by Chroma. Enjoy cooking with it. This is Chef Sabi signing out.